everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and today I'm doing something completely unexpected uh, for you because I don't talk much about my D&D addiction but the Dicelings from Asbro were announced um, not long ago, uh, well something somewhere in October and I pre-ordered them for March at DJC Collectibles and uh, they arrived in November like you know the 26th, 25th I was like wow that's way earlier than March you know it's not even the same year so I'm gonna take a look at it. I'm gonna do one review for all of them um, because it's all the same alt mode uh, but the beast inside is all different so we're gonna take a look at that one. therefore the honor among Steve movie that's coming out and that's something that if I do watch this movie and so far I have no intention of doing so I'm a huge D&D fan we were extremely disappointed with the Dungeon and Dragon movies back in late 90s early 2000s it was a piece of crap um, except you know the uh, the Beholder the, the one Beholder that we saw for like 10 seconds was awesome and that's it and I was really disappointed and then now they announced that they were gonna do a new D&D movie which was gonna be with uh, Chris Pine I'm like okay he was a good Kirk he did a couple good movies so Maybe I'll give it a shot. Then I saw the preview. It's an action comedy, rom-com, whatever. Uh, action music. You know, there's you know, music from the 60s and 70s playing. Rock and roll type of stuff. I'm like, why couldn't we have a serious D&D movie? Like, a, 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 you know, if you take, like, Thor Love and Thunder, which is a garbage movie with humor and explosions and fun, but then you have Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which is not really my type of movie, but I watched it, and it's like serious drama, character growth, it's interesting, it's fun. I would have preferred to have a D&D movie like that. But anyway, I'm off topic. These Dicelings look amazing, and I'm going to uh, do the review uh, for you right now. Well, not right now, because I want to talk about my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm definitely proud of, and you should watch if you want to know more about uh, Transformers voice actor and also check out my uh, sponsor DJC collectibles where I got these guys uh, and you can get my 10% discount code for anything Transformers uh, at the end of the video and now let's roll the intro Guys, let me tell you, I had so much fun with these figures compared to the recent Transformers I've purchased. It's amazing. If they do more, I'll buy more. But I'll do one transformation uh, on screen because it's worth it. Um, no, you know, some of them are actually, you know, transformations are pretty lame. But for the most part, it's really well done. I mean, I don't know where to begin. So let's just begin with the dice mode. Uh, could use a little more paint, but... Nice golden here on the uh, D20 for the Black Dragon. Uh, looks, uh, or actually, he has a name. This is probably the movie name, Raycor. But that's the same head sculpt as we've seen in any coloring and pictures. That's my favorite head sculpt for any dragon. I love the horns on the side. You know, take a look. It's, it's really different. I like it. Uh, it's fantastic. And uh, the dice, you know, they could have used more paint. Uh, was extremely well packaged, I have to say. They all were wrapped in these little tissues, uh, tissue bag. So that's actually a bag that you open up and you they, they came in. Uh, but also, I'll show you a picture here. They had the figures um, where the transformation occurs. They had little tissue inserts. So it protected the actual creature uh, in transport. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I love, you know, it's natural D20. It rolls fine, but it's probably not balanced. And I wouldn't knock it uh, all the time uh, because once you transform it, there is like they were perfectly lined up. And now you can see some of the gaps like here, you know, it's, it, it wants to come loose, but it's near perfect. Uh, the Beholder, I uh, like the platinum here, looks really good. Yeah, you can say silver or gray or it's platinum. And you can see the transformation line, you know, here. Uh, he looks really good. This is a little bit of the skin texture of the Beholder. Um, of course, you see the hinges and, you know, the, the pins and everything. So, it's not... The dice mode isn't 100% perfect, but it looks really good. The Owlbear, 
uh, by far the most, I wouldn't say complicated, but interesting transformation. Um, the other three, they kind of just unfold, especially the Beholder, that's really all he does. The Dragon, there's a couple twists and turns to do, but this one you have to twist the ends and move and flip the figure around and it's really fun. So I'll transform this one on screen. Unfortunately, after you open it the first time, same thing here, you know, a little gapage issue where the pins don't uh, pin properly, but looks really good. And the Red Dragon, the most powerful of all dragons. Uh, except in Dragonlance, where Cyan Bloodbane, the green dragon, was way better. But man, gold again. So he has the, uh, you know, the platinum one, yeah, because Beholder are extremely dangerous creature. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm loving these. It's, it's just the dice mode is interesting. Uh, they could use, you know, painted numbers and stuff like that, but... Um, if you manipulate them a lot because it's all gray pla it's all like colored plastic no painted plastic uh, except for the uh, D&D uh, logo so they could have used a little more paint for the numbers but eh, it's not uh, it's not a deal breaker uh, boxes are fairly standard um, you know you have the uh, product shot the artwork which D&D's uh, product you know artwork has been amazing since um, the, the 60s, well, the, the 70s, and, uh, you know, back in the TSR days, now it's Wizard of the Coast, and now they're, you know, D&D, since they came up with all the new editions, uh, which we deemed unnecessary, uh, it's been, for us, going downhill, but hopefully the movie, even if I don't plan on watching it, maybe it's gonna brought some love for uh, the franchise. Uh, the Beholder, you know, the artwork, one of the most fiercer fearsome creature you know i've actually never beaten one none of the dms i've played with ever came out with a beholder i should probably just run my own campaign with it and then the owlbear it's not actually how a, an owlbear stands it's a four-legged thing maybe this is you know when he's standing up to strike but the way that they transform him in uh robot mode well or creature mode i guess that's more appropriate this time uh he's a he looks more like a bipedal and uh, that's not how he moves so that's you know too bad and then the red dragon you know with the fire so looks really good too fearsome creature oh and that's uh, something that the artist missed though black dragons don't breed fire they breed acid that's actually something in the movie pilot that i've seen that is actually accurate so maybe that's a redeeming quality if they get all their uh, creatures accuracy, maybe the movie's worth watching, but so far, I don't know. Well, that's, I'm not gonna do size comparison. Well, maybe just one, hold on. Here they are with uh, Nightstick. So that's to give you a scale in dice mode there about battle master size. All right, let's do transformation for this one. Uh, so you have to find the number eight for this one and open them up like this. And then you can see the little owl, which we're gonna, we're gonna take a look. And then you unfold the wings to their maximum then you want to take this and twist it like this and then kind of pop the legs up and then move this part this joint move it forward and flip it like this same thing on the other side maybe I'll do the feet first yeah and there you go so that's one way. Ah, I forgot to show the instructions. Ah, well, I'll do it after. Um, once you have that going, you wanna hold on. The, the hand flips. Okay, you wanna open up the wing a little more like this, and then you wanna flip the hand like this from in to out, and then twist it so that it's facing the right way. It's kind of hard to tell which way is right uh, with these guys, but you know, like this. And then you wanna fold this over and then, can you, well, you can't really push it more because of how the joint is done. So this is the way the end is going to look. You know, it, from the outside, it kind of looks silly. Then you're going to lift this part here and put the head down and put this 
And this one actually folds outward. So you can put it in its back so that it looks a little more covered in uh, feathers. And we're going to do the other side. Flip this backward. And flip the end out. Twist it. Put this down. And then you're going to... Oh yeah, there's an interesting... This is the only one that has this gimmick where you pull this double joint here. So it's a ball joint with a little joint here to give more extension to the arms, arm wings. Well, they don't fly, but you know, the feather thing, huge claws, you know, and then you put this back and it's pretty much it, you know, from the, uh, if you look at the inside of the arm, it looks kind of silly, but once you, no, you can't, hold on, double joint, there you go, like this, so there you go, this is the owl bear. It's. it looks more like a giant owl to me, uh, which is also a D&D creature, but he doesn't stand really well, you have to, you know, prop the hands down a little bit, and uh, there you go. looks really good so i'm gonna transform the others and come back with uh the analysis of each creature but before i do that instructions instructions are actually instructions are standard asbro stuff you know uh, you have the, the creature and you have you know unfold the wings for the black dragon uh, unfold the uh, the head and you know unfold the legs twist you know, very War for Cybertron-like, which that's what I'm used to. So that's uh, that's uh, you know something good. All right, let me uh, pause this, and we're gonna keep going with the creature analysis. All right, and taking a look at these guys. Wow, I knew I was gonna like them. I just never realized I was gonna like them this much. It's fantastic. I mean, it's combining Transformers and D&D. What else is not to love for me? But you know. It's not like the X-Men crossover with Transformers, two of my favorite franchise, and it sucked, you know, that Ultimate Expanse crap. This is fantastic. I mean, they're not Transformers per se, but they could do a crossover. Like, I mean, if they were to release these guys in Voyager size, hell, I'll buy them. Okay, uh, taking a look, let's go with the, the Beholder. He's probably the most painted, all the detail in his face, and, you know, the, the mouth moves, and then it, you know, the moment you it, it, it kind of wants to go back inside so you have to leave it open Oop. you have to pull it out come on put your finger in the back there you go and it's all rubber teeth uh, rubber eyes on the side so looks uh, really good the paint the eye you know the triangle eye the skin all you know scaly not scaly but looks like a toad the mouth big tongue inside looks really good I don't know if it comes, but there's ribbing, uh, like a palette. It's really very nicely detailed. I mean, you don't have to do all that, and they did it. I wish they would put that much effort in Transformers once in a while. I mean, each of the above eyes move individually, and then they have a rotation uh, on a ball joint. It's kind of hard to get a good 360, but there you go. Looks fine. I mean, little uh, cat's eyes. And then each eye have, has an ability to kill you with. And then in the back you have two more. So one on the inside of the plastic cover and then another uh, rubber one. So looks really good. I just, you know, they, all this is well hidden in because of the transformation. I mean, you have the whole thing here on the side. It's kind of, you know, exoskeleton support, which it's not, nothing you can do about that. You know, it's the concept of the creature. Looks really good. I, I like the Beholder. He's, he's the easiest to transform. Just pull everything down. And that's it. Uh, the Albear, uh, most interesting transformation. Very nice face sculpt. Look at the details, the eyes, the beak, uh, all those feathers around the eyes. And then all those little details here. Um, looks really good. Like a lot of painting, lots of uh, articulation on this one. Uh, you know, you can move the the hand back and forth, you can do a full rotation. Uh, you have another full rotation at the top. Uh, it's kind of hard to do, but there you go. It's merry-go-round. Um, 
there's an ab crunch well it's not an ab crunch but the legs do fold forwards uh looks really good i mean he's probably the, the better engineered one that's what i'm gonna say he's the better engineered one uh, although he's not he's probably the less um D, D accurate for his uh creature mode uh, but he's fantastic i mean it's there's no deal breaking in here uh both dragons are transforming the same way let's push these guys a little for there you go uh very similar engineering the only difference are um the because you can notice the claws are the same the paws uh, the hind legs the transformation of the tail the only difference is the uh, the head sculpt and the neck they don't have the same uh, see uh, it's kind of hard to do okay hold on you have these type of uh, fish fin here uh, that we've seen on you know plenty of different fish and in here it's more like uh, horns um, that you would see on a dinosaur or something so but the, the, the yeah, I'm kind of disappointed but hold on I like the way like this is faithful to a DD and d red dragon the mouth opens you have the, uh, the, the, I don't know what you call that here. I guess it's another type of fin, the chin piece. The teeth are, you know, painted. And the horns going all the way back look really, really good. I mean, it's impressive. The wings are loose on the red one. Unless, yeah, if I, you know, I can kind of just uh, put it over the, the, the leg and it's going to, to stand. Uh, there's a rotation here, uh, two joints where you can easily rotate the wing to give it uh, more posability. Looks really good. And they unfold pretty nicely. I like the, you know, painted details inside. Uh, that looks really good as well. Um, kind of a bluish gray. Again, colorblind, that doesn't change. And uh, the other detail that's different from one dragon to the other is the, uh, the tail end. Because it's not the same fin. So it's different. Um, I like the the red dragon likes to fight standing up and hurling spell. Cause yeah, they don't just breathe fire, man. They can use magic. These are ancient beings of tremendous power. Uh, slight disappointment with the uh, the head sculpt is the horn. You see, this one is perfect, and this one is kind of kind of bended forward. So I'll see if I can warm that up and kind of twist it and replace it. Hopefully I can, but it looks good. The black tip, you know, because sometimes, you know, a little ass black acid is going to stick to it. Uh, the mount opens uh, quite nicely over gap. Um, you know, I wish it kind of came with a uh, blast effect where you can put some, uh, you know, a peg where you could actually have some uh, fire, you know, like acid and fire on the red dragon effect. That would have been nice. And uh, you know what, for maybe, I don't know, two bucks more, I would have totally paid for that. And the articulation on uh, both uh, the, uh, the the dragons, you have the uh, the tail that moves in one, two, three, four, five points of articulation. So, and it rotates, I mean, yeah, 360 here, you have a 360, uh, oh no, here you don't have a 360, uh, but you do have one on this side here. And then this one just kind of moves uh, up and down all around. There you go. So, looks really good. And there you go. And the wings, the same thing. They rotate on the, the joint uh, on the back. And then you have uh, a wing flap here. You have another one here. Oh, that's a tight one. And then you have uh, a little uh, movement at the end. So looks really good and i like the paint details they did on him like that greenish bronze gold i don't know looks really good though it fits this dragon so well so i like to have different poses for these guys so let's go with the you know marching there you go fantastic i cannot stress enough I and mean, if you're a DD &D fan you need to get these guys it's pretty good they're last i checked they're still available at djc collectible so go ahead and have some fun uh they're worth it uh, they're gonna be my desk bot for uh, well desk creature for a while so don't miss out guys thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this review 
Uh, if you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.